Hey guys, it's V. Welcome back to another video and welcome back to another unboxing. So after almost exactly four months, I finally got my shiny 2021 season's greetings. And since I filmed one of these last year, it was my second video I ever made. I decided to do one again just to play kind of homage to one of my first videos. So it is May 13th. We're almost halfway through the year. Blaming Nino for this one, but I'm just very glad that I could get this and that I finally have, even though I pre-ordered it in January. I had a lot of trouble getting this because my FedEx guy is a jerk and hates me, but luckily I was able to get it. So let's just get into it. This is also really heavy, so I'm excited. Also, it's been so long since they posted the teaser pictures for this, I don't even really remember what's in it, so it'll be a nice surprise. So here it is. This is so fun. It's completely different from last year's, and they look so good. And there is the back. Nothing really exciting on there. So I'll go and open this. For once, I'm prepared, and I do have scissors. Character development. There's an up close of the cover. I mentioned in my Don't Call Me video that I really like when things are kind of tactile. The pictures on here are like glossy and it's a different feeling from the cover, which I really like. I just like things that feel nice like this. And we will open it now. And that is what you see in the front. Same as last year, pull the little tab out. And there is everything nice and wrapped inside. So I'm just gonna go with what's on top and go through everything. All right. I just love all the little details they put in here. Um, so the, right, here's the front of this guy. I'm gonna take it out of the packaging, you know, <laughs> to make it easier to see. And on the front, it has greetings from all the members. And it also says film must be dropped off at this address and I haven't developed photos in probably over a decade so I don't really remember what it's like but it says like quantity printing specifications 525.08 and then it says the size is 4x6 which is your typical photo <laughs> size so, uh, the details are just so cool so you got all these lovely photos in there you got two film strips or photo strips uh, with Key and Mino pretending to get along. And the other one has uh, Onyu and Taemin. So cute. I say cute way too often in these videos. I've noticed I'm like, think of another word, come on. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six little prints here. Again with Onyu and Taemin. It says happy, happy new 2021 year. And then again, Mino and Ki. Very cute. And then we have a shot for each member. We have Taemin, Onyu. I'm gonna say I really like the colors of this. I like how they use the red light. Here's Ki and Mino. I love how they use the red lighting because it really adds to the setting, I think, and just kind of gives a cool vibe to the pictures. Moving on next, we have, I think, some more prints of the members. Frame and postcard calendar, that's what it says on the packaging, which we had last year as well. Of course, we're in May, but it's okay. It's been time for shiny month. So last year was kind of like a stand. Um, they would just stick the photos in, but it looks like this one is more of a calendar. I don't know what I was trying to say by more of a calendar. It just has more of a calendar shape, I guess, if that makes any sense. So there's the little frame for that guy. And then we have pictures of the members for each month. I'll try to cycle through these quickly. It's a lot, but I just want you guys to be able to see all of them. I love Taman's look. He pulls off any hair color and I really like it when he's blonde. You know, Ki, Mino, Ki, Taemin and Jinky, Jinky. 
this look is definitely something. <laughs> I really, really love this picture a lot. So sweet. We got key for December, and that's all of them. Yay! So you can just uh, let's, let's find the May one. You know, May is the fifth month, not the fourth month. Do I have to put it in through the bottom? After all I went through to put this together. Just stick it in like that, or you can have the member showing whichever way that you'd like. It defeats the point of being a calendar if you can't see the calendar. <laughs> I mentioned this last year too, I really like how they make these calendars with the full prints on the other side, so you can reuse them even after 2021 is over. And next we have the dust calendar, which just fold out like that all the coloring is all matching as per usual we have the calendar on this side and then uh, the photo on the other side I'm gonna show all of these because I feel like that would be a little bit redundant and they posted a lot of these pictures online. I'll see if I can find some of my favorite ones. Oh, and I also have to highlight on May. We got shiny day. Coming soon. 13 years, that's crazy. Ooh, I think this one's cool. I like how we were all like, oh, this is like chemistry, but I think it's really just photo developing and I think that's a very unique concept. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> They're too cute. I saw a tweet the other day, I'll put it here, about how Shiny could really pass as a fourth gen group. And then, everything that's in here. I've been using the Shiny Foundation desk calendar as of right now, but I'll probably stick this one in my living room or something, or on my bedside table. I'll definitely find room for it. And I remember we had one of these last year too. We have a mini brochure, which I think is just filled with photos. Nice glossy feel to the paper. And like last year, we have some pages with greetings and all the members' signatures. I really love these photos. I don't know who trusted Taman with a camera. I hope he didn't break it. <laughs> And of course, their selfies, which I think we saw. They're very cute. And all of their pictures together. Honestly, just seeing them smile makes me smile. It's so infectious. Now we have the diary. Again, kind of, we have the same cover as the first envelope we had with the photos in it. The front first page in there. Um, and as per usual, they do a really good job with these. I like how there's a lot of space for each day of the week and you have the month spread as well and pages um, for notes. They always do a really good job with these and I like how they're set up. Maybe it's just a Korean thing. I know Japanese stationery is really awesome, so maybe Korea is the same way. Checklists, everything, super fun. And of course, we have pictures of the members near the front as well. Try my best to show all of these. Taman out here telling us he's getting old and we're like, okay, sure. It's a nice picture. I like this one a lot. And in the back there is a space for your name, phone number, contact information, all that good stuff. I really like this. I think it's really cool. I just love, again, how this season's greetings really had like a definitive theme. Last year's was like pretty similar as well. They had like a set theme, but this one is like really cool how it's very specific and everything fits together really well. I love that attention to detail. And next we have, are these stickers? I know I was a clown last year and was like, I thought these were stickers, but I couldn't peel them off the page. These are very similar to last year's, so. No, oh, it's staticky, that's why. Two sheets. And the second one. 
Again, the members are all paired up for pretty much everything. See, because I swear that they said these were sticker sheets and it's not like die cut or anything. You can't peel them off. Maybe I'm just a clown or maybe I get defective season's greetings every year, but I'm not sure. They're cute though. If you know, please tell me because I just need to know that I'm a clown and that I'm stupid. So please tell me if you know, if you got the season's greetings. Because you'd think they're stickers because like the designs make sense in terms of that. I don't know. We're going to move on to... Why is there so much stuff in here? I say that every year. To our giant Prince Breach member, like every year. I almost dropped all of those. Kind of go by member. Oh my gosh. I think there's three per member. So here, Onyu. We got glare. I will do this better. <laughs> And Taemin's. I love this, like, I'm not sure what kind of filter they put on this, but it looks, looks very warm toned and very pretty. Taemin always looks so good in these. I cannot believe that he is a real person. We have Key. I don't know how I feel about his pants in these. They're definitely an interesting choice. Headshot. Gorgeous as always. And we have Mino. I really like this look on him. This look. With him with the shorter hair and the jacket, I feel like it's very bad boy, edgy, which we don't really see from him very often. So I really like how they styled him for this. And last but not least, we have this guy. Don't know what it is. Was it a poster or multiple? Oh, cute. We have little calendars. I guess you could call them that, but it has the uh, months at the top and then just all of them here. And this one here. Same idea, but the months are on the bottom on this one. And this is their lab photo shoot. So that is everything in here. Shiny always blows me away with their season's greetings. They put so much stuff in here. I just really want to know about the stickers. <laughs> That's always what confuses me. It was the exact same thing last year. And this year, I really love the creativity they put into it. I love the whole feel and the concept. It's really cool, really unique so shiny to be doing things that are quite different from other groups. I love how they did this. I was wondering why there was no CD for like the making of, but I guess they uploaded all of that online. So we already got to see all of those, maybe because it took so long for us to get this. But yeah, overall, I'm super happy with everything that was in here. I love getting the season's greetings. I think it's such a cute idea that they do this every year and just a nice way to connect with them. And you know, I love planners, I love calendars, stationery, all that fun stuff. So I always love getting these. I made the mistake last year of getting two season's greetings, which is kind of stupid because I really didn't need all of that. So I just decided to get the shiny one this year. And of course it was super delayed, but I don't mind. I'm happy that I can support the boys. And I apologize that this was so late. I realized people have posted unboxing videos I think at least a month ago but I ordered from SM Global Shop and it was super delayed getting to me. Regardless I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you enjoyed getting to see everything that was in the season's greetings. I know a lot of people didn't pre-order it just because it did get released so late. I didn't notice until after I placed my order and of course you cannot cancel a pre-order so I was like you know what whatever it's fine. <laughs> you know it was nice to have a season's greetings again when all the members were together so I'm happy to have this one and yeah really happy with all of it. With that, that will be the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for 100 subscribers. I honestly can't believe it. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all of your support. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you all soon. Bye.